them. Let's play some, play some beaver football, guys. I have a worry about playing Bama. This isn't the Bama that you know now. This is early 2000s Bama, and that's not good Bama. But I'm worried about it, guys. We may be good at home. If you've been watching the series, playing and winning in Corvallis has been fruitful for us, but I don't like it, man. I'm forcing myself to play a freshman quarterback. That's rough. Um, I'm also uh, without an impact wide receiver, so like the guys we're throwing to drop a lot of stuff, and it's not good. There's a lot of bad stuff going on, but the goal is to be really good at rushing and winning games that way. And hopefully our defense does pretty well. A national broadcast, Research Stadium, Beavers versus Crimson Tide. It's not a Pac-10 game. So a loss here isn't devastating. I would love to win the Pac-10 this year. I don't, however, have any aspirations above that. I need to make a bowl, which we were screwed out of a bowl last year. Absolutely screwed. And then I like to win the Pac-10 this year. So. All right, uh, Lee Corso is picking us. That's fine. All right, they be receiving the ball, guys. We're ready to get this one underway as the teams are lined up for the opening kick. Oh no. Gets it off. God damn it. Oh. And that'll be a penalty. And that's going to be I'm trying to cheese the game. Here. But you can't cheese the game if you just commit penalties, so it's fine. For the record, guys, they've got an impact running back. I don't know why everybody in the world has an impact running back but me. It makes me very sad. I hate it. I hate how everybody has an impact running back but me. It makes me very insecure and very mad. I want an impact running back. I use my running back quite a bit, and I would love to have an impact running back. <laughs> A seven-yard run by the running back. Third and four. Ball on their own 43. Line up in an eye formation. Alabama sets up in the eye. Oh, damn it! Oh. With a takedown. And they get a nice gain on third down. Mm -hmm. I just wanted to stop him. Um, I'm already upset because I got sick somehow. Success. So now I'm... Well, they have some success on that play. What a perfect pass. What a perfect damn pass. We have a big play defense. That's this is the opposite of a big play. Oh my fucking god, that's the opposite of a big play. Holy hell. Yeah, it really was, Brad. Oh, that, that is so much different than a big play. Oh. When you break one like that, you got to give a lot of credit <laughs> to the offensive line. I mean, recruiting is going well for and us. we got a lot of good feelings. Man, you got to be kidding me with this. Everybody having a, an impact running back. Come to the line with their jumbo package. Uh, 
He ran a field goal block there, guys, and they still managed to block us and then get it. Good fucking God. <laughs> All right, that was a bruising first drive for Bama. Frustrating. God damn it. Block better, guys. Just catch it and take a knee. It's the only way to guarantee that your offense will start at point. They'll get the ball here at the 14 yard line. All right, guys. Oh, you got to be kidding me. Oh. <laughs> oh. oh, no, you don't say. Oh, my God. Oh, sweet baby Jesus. Okay, everything's going wrong for us, guys. All right, man. It's backup quarterback time. Brooks brings him down. A nice seven yard gain on the option keeper. The defense lines up with six DBs. On the goose, on the goose. Out of the left. It sounds simple. You've got three plays to get ten yards, but trust me. Sometimes that's not as easy as it sounds. Do I want to take this chance? Maybe I do. I don't know. Oh, Sussman's back, guys. Everything's okay. Wow, they're just they're just good. They're just really good. Oh, good, sweet. Oh. All right. It's not all over, but. I wanted to commit to the running game, and that's about as committed as you can get to a running game. So, a little juke. Spin move. Touchdown, Alabama. Oh my God. You've got to be kidding me. Well, right. I know we're Oregon State, and I know we don't belong in any game with anybody named Alabama. I get it. But. And he tacks on the extra point. I'm getting tilted. Gotta stop being tilted. Very much need to avoid getting tilted. Alright. We've got plenty of game to go. Let's see if we can make it work. I did what I... I did what I could. I did what I could. Tried, tried to run four straight plays. I thought I was. I thought I was doing well with it. But I all right, that's uh that's a that's a first positive play of the game for us. Good job. Just when you think he's gonna pitch it. He cuts up the field and keeps the ball himself. No question, Coach. Great execution and a good decision there by the quarterback. Yeah, Go for the two. Cut. Looking, rolling out to the right side. Chucks it deep down the right side. Oh, he could have gotten a... <clears throat> I'm just tilted over here, guys. It's okay. Don't worry about me. There we go. There we go. Yeah. 
The pitching is not great. The pitching, uh, you don't get as good of pitches as you do in like early Xbox 360 versions of the NCAA franchise. I have a, uh, I have friends who would get very frustrated because like in the middle of a tackle, my guy would just like his arm would contort and would fling it on a pitch, and it would be perfect and option to get me a touchdown. So. Uh, it doesn't quite work the same way here. And if it does, it kind of feels like it's almost... Um, almost seems like something that would make me turn over the ball constantly. Thomas, he should be impact. Petition online. Get Make Thomas impact, because Thomas is good. And if he was impact, these games would feel a lot different. I would love it. All right. Okay. We did a successful pitch. That's when you go to the air, my friend. Over the top. Sussman lines up in the shotgun. Sussman options out to the right. That impact player is a trouble. <clears throat> He's very much trouble, guys. Sussman has four receivers lined up here. That's so ludicrous. Like, if they're just able to do... God, man, why can't I have an important impact player? I mean, I did last year, I get it. But I want an impact player that's important. I formation here. Why? Why does he break so many tackles? Why? Oh. Like we stop him, but he just runs into things. Nothing bad happens to him. Like he just ah. God, we can't get a turnover. We can't get a tackle. Ball on the 45-yard line. Bunch formation. They'll throw on first down. This one's thrown deep. You gotta be middle. fucking kidding me. You have to be fucking kidding me. You have to be kidding me. Why? Why is everyone able to do these things, but we we struggle to do it consistently here in Core Balance? Oh god, I'm tilted. I'm so upset. I wish I wasn't recording this. Because, like, all right, cool. You got the pass. Like, I'd probably miss open receivers. I don't think, actually, that's a question. But no one's open like that. Like, just super open. And they get behind our guys, and they're just gone. And, like, the, the pass is on the money. God damn it. 
Like, what the fuck? Oh, so tilted. Unbelievably tilted. The most tilted. Oh, my insides. The Beaver, line up with four wideouts. Thomas, on a counter left side. He breaks free. Tyler, with a takedown. Nice game for the halfback. That time they kept it on the ground with the counter. Uh. The blocking was great up front, and the tailback was able to get into the open field and do some special things. Oregon State comes out of the shotgun. They go with the option. And now he pitches it. Brought down in the open field. And the option of the halfback gets six yards. Let's see how the defense handles the no huddle. The Beaver set up for the gun. Here's an option right side. I kind of wanted to get out of bounds there before I got hit, but all right. Watch the linebacker. He's the star of the defense, and he's in the zone right now. Is that fucking shot? God damn it! Like, overthrowing and the coverage is perfect and there's never any separation, even with Royal. Even when they were throwing to our wonderful wide receiver Royal. We didn't get separation. We It was awful. Oh, God! Like, nice call by the defense. I'm having a terrible time. He's in their huddle sometimes. You're watching someone truly suffer right now. Sussman has four receivers lined up here. Oh. Sussman, back to throw. Rolls to the right. Deep pass down the right side. Finds the true freshman. What an amazing cat. I mean, Royal's fast. That's what we've been trying to do. And finally, a pass is on the goddamn money. Finally, a pass is on the money. They like to run this fast pace kind of offense. And sometimes you get the defense to panic and waste the time out. The Beaver, the four receivers. Another run. I mean, if we if we manage to complete passes, honestly, we have we have a really good chance to do well. But oh, I'm not good at like looking up field and throwing the good the right pass. <laughs> so that's an issue. I know how to throw a deep. And he tacks on the extra point. Down to just a few seconds left here before that. But our score, Alabama, man. 21. 21-7. I'm being a whiny bitch. Oregon State, the kick. <clears throat> and it's Patrick's back to return. Here's the kick. Anderson fields it with one fit on it. Yeah, that wasn't a good kick, but those second level guys, it's harder for them <clears throat> to uh, return it all the way, so that's what I was trying to avoid. Play action, looking, he rolls left, throws. You gotta be kidding me. Absolutely kidding me. Oh my god. You're kidding me. Yeah, some quarterbacks are just so good at selling the play action. It's truly an overlooked skill. You take my friend Kirk here, for example. He wasn't known for his speed, but boy, he could do a good play. They, they're just able to throw the perfect pass right over the defender, and our defender can't break it up. Left out sunshine. It's sunshine's good, sweetheart. Man, this is torture. I made the schedule. I made the schedule. I get it. But god damn it, man. Like, god fucking damn it. Like, they couldn't have just missed a pass. Like, an overthrow, right? We couldn't have had an overthrow there. We couldn't have had an underthrow. They have an interception. It always has to be right in the money. Trying to change the play. He's on the back. He's looking. Steps up. He's going to air it long. Somebody like, how did they do that? There's always someone helping. Players use anything they can to get in the way of a pass. 
Their fucking safety so ended up bite, like coming up more towards the line of scrimmage, so I thought we were safe. No, the guy makes it over there cleanly. And no problem, everybody. No problem at all. Why? 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 Oh, wow. Still, why? God damn it, I'm still frustrated. Oh, man. What are we doing here? I don't think I want to kick a field goal. Right, it's first and ten. Ball to thirty-two. <clears throat> Oregon State sets up with four receivers. Sussman drops back on first down. Going deep, lays it up there. Yeah, well, we tried. The second half adjustments done. Huh. Alabama got the ball to start the game, so they'll be kicking off to start the second half. Kicks it off. Brown fields it at the two. Can we block? Oh god, can we get someone put put their put their body in the line? Take over at the thirty eight. Sussman with four wide receivers. Perfect. They knew it. They had it. They knew it. They did it. And it works. Good job. Plugging up all the gaps and the possible cutback lanes by the defense. Second and 13 coming up here. All on their own 35. Going with the shotgun here. And down he goes. I wanted to see how that would feel. Because he was like, no one was on him on the line. So, like, what if I threw it straight to him? Right. The Beaver. Come out the shotgun. He drops back. Looking. He's rolling right. He's going right. Why? Why does everyone have perfect coverage? Why doesn't. No one can get open. Everyone has perfect coverage. Like, you see, oh, God, you can get open. And then you try to throw them open, and then it's pu yeah, it's not happening. Fuck. God. God. Oregon State comes out of the shotgun. Sussman drops back. Over. And they make the stop. This quarterback acts like he doesn't even know it's fourth down out there. Did you see how calm he looked in the pocket? He showed great composure. I don't think he's done moving the ball down the field. Ball 42. Of course. Ball 42. Fucking course. Hey. Drop back to pass. He's looking. He rolls out to the right. Throws it deep downfield. Are you why? Why does it go in his hands and not in my hands? Has two interceptions in the ball game. And that's two more than the quarterback wanted to throw. Now he's got to go back out there and play smarter football when the offense takes the field again. You're right, coach. The quarterback has to be able to put that out of his mind and act like it never happened. Which one? First or second interception? I say both. So they find themselves on top to start the second half, and I think we all know why. Are you kidding me? Everyone who's at home watching this game knows why they're winning the running game. The running game? More like the running back. He's the main reason they went into the half of the game. You're right, Kirk. I guess it shouldn't come as a surprise, but I mean, heck, isn't he on the cover? Like, why does it go in the defender's hands? Who's much worse at football? The reason they win this football game. Just keep giving him the ball. And he'll pick up the yards on the clock runs down. Alabama sets up in the eye. Wow. Zero yards on that play. Okay. Third and eight. Ball on their own three. Are you kidding me? Oh my god! Oh fuck! Say that again, sweetheart. That was a huge play.
It's first and ten, ball on the 21 yard line. They come out of a nickel. Second and five coming up here. Ball of the 26. The tide come out in the ace formation. They'll go with the run once again. Allen brings him down. He may have gotten back to the line of scrimmage. Faces another third down as they line it up. They'll bring in their dive pack. Steps up in the pocket. Looks. He's going left. It's tipped. The corner made a good play on the ball. He sure did. This kid is very athletic. If he doesn't get a pick, he does his best to knock the ball down. Lining up the punt. It's off and it is a dandy. Brown takes it to 20. Looks to have been shaken up a bit on that play. Perfect. It doesn't look like it's too serious, guys, but you never know. Sometimes those small injuries turn into season ending ones. They'll go to work after 25. They're calling it audible. Sussman with the give. And they push him out. And the halfback ripped off a nice game there to get him the first. Hey, this kid's a good looking back. Let's see if they go to him again. Oregon State comes out of the shotgun. 391. Hold on, left. Back to back. Looking, rolling out to the right side. He's going right, and he dropped it. Oh, he missed an easy catch. Whoa, not too many passes are gimmies like that one. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on 38. Trying to change the play. Thomas will run it again. Knocked out of bounds. And it goes over the century mark with that run, guys. You know, Brad, he's had a great day, but credit to the offensive line for fine blocking all game long. The Beaver come out the shotgun. Three for the three and left four. Sussman hands off the right. He tries to spin. Thompson with a takedown. The tailback picks up a solid seven yards on the counter play. As we've seen before, they go with a hurry up offense. Sussman is back in the gun. Whoa, why, why did that happen? What the fuck? I hit the wrong button. Oh, no. I got tense and I hit the wrong button. And that's the end of the third quarter. Our score in this one, Alabama 28, Oregon State 7, third and five. This is the sixth play of this drive. Holy hell. Sussman with four wide receivers. to the first down. Runs like this keep him guessing. You got the oh. defense worried about the running game, and that's when you catch him off guard with <whistles> through the air. Be surprised if they tackle right here, right now. He spins around and he's tackled. A nice job by the offensive line, and they pick up a gain of eight. 
They better block that linebacker. He is looking to make something happen. practice this week, you kind of got the feeling that they might run a little no huddle. In fact, here it comes. Oregon State sets up with four receivers. Big dog, big dog. Thomas takes a handoff. He can scoop. He's been Ray with a takedown. So the ground game picks up another first down. Well, this really works on a defensive side. You can see the guys on defense right now just trying to catch their wind. Once again, they had a chance to bring this drive to a halt, but were unable to do it. The offense really seems to be clicking right now. Sussman on first down. Across the middle. Complete. James brings him down. Short pass there, and they get a moderate game. There's nothing wrong with nickel and diamond down the field. Second and five coming up here. Ball on the 14. He's changing things up. Sussman will hand it off with the spin. Tyler with a takedown. And he comes up with a nice run. A nice run, but they kept him from getting out of bounds and stopping the clock. If anyone can force a turnover right now, then it's the man at linebacker. Suspect at the pass. He is caught. He ignores the footsteps and makes the catch. They pick up two on the pass play. The Beaver set up in the gun. That was an amazing drive. That is what I've been trying to do this whole year, and that's my goal, is to play football like that. And it happened way too late. We held the ball. We ran. We got the right plays. We got the right things happening at the right time. We ate a dick ton of clock. And, uh, yeah, that's how that went. It's fine. <clears throat> it's not working fine. Hell of an onside kick, everybody. You've got to give your team a chance to put points on the board. That's not a smart decision. First and ten. Ball to the 44-yard line. Oregon State in a four-wide set. He drops back. He's looking. Here's the long ball. Left side. And they couldn't hook up on that one. Tried so hard to get that. I don't know too many seven foot guys playing football, so maybe he should aim lower the next time. And I know the shotgun. Sussman. Set to go to the air. He pumps it. Rolls right. Throws down the middle. It's deflected. Everyone had a shot at catching that pass, especially the guys on defense. There was no one open, and he threw it in there anyway. Sussman changes the play at the line. Good Lord. Sussman drops the throw. He's looking for his man. He got it! To the ten. Touchdown! They had to get the score there close, and they did it. We couldn't get the real exciting finish here. It's going to be a good one, you guys. All they have to do is get back and find the end zone one more time. 
And he tacks on the extra point. And here's the party at the Brian Silver. Expect the onside kick here, although it doesn't look like they're lining up for it. For the onside kick. Yeah, I didn't I didn't get a bounce on that one, guys. They don't recover the onside, so they'll really be counting on their defense to come up with a turnover in order to win this thing. Well, this is the biggest series of the game. A stop here, and they're back in business. But if they give up a touchdown, it's all over. They'll set up shot at the 44. <laughs> But the key here is try to milk as much time as possible. Oregon State takes a timeout. Second and nine, ball of the 43. Alabama comes to the line with three wide. Back straight ahead. Payne with a takedown. A pickup of four on the play. Oregon State calls a timeout. They really mean business, don't they? Case backfield. One hit. Drop back to pass. He steps up, looks. He wants it all. Going long. You've got to be kidding me, guys! Oh, man, you've got to be fucked. Of course that works out for him. Yeah, but he better buckle up that chin strap, because the defensive ends just love it when the offense has to throw the ball every play. And he hits the PAT. So with less than a minute to go in the fourth quarter, the score is Alabama 35, Oregon State 21. Alabama is ready to kick it away. Royal and Brown set to return. Sends it sailing downfield. Brown calls for the fair cat. And it goes into the end zone down for a touchback. They did a great job on their last drive. Moving the ball down the field for a touchdown. Looking. He's going to go for the home run. Batted ball. 
I throw in the guy with the, pa with the pass accuracy and he overthrows him by a fucking mile. Of course he did. That, that just double coverage. My guys can't jump up like that. Like it's just it's ludicrous. Like what? Why can't? Why? Why? Why are they able to do that? Nah, hurts so hard. <laughs> The Beaver, come out in the shotgun. Here we go. Steps up in the pocket. Across the middle. <laughs> yep. Yeah, that's how that works. Yeah, that's how that works. It's all right. You got to put it all on the line. God, it's all right. Everything's okay, everybody. God damn it. I got the ball here. The 20 yard line. I hate Alabama. And he'll take a knee. No need to risk a fumble. A simple kneel down will do here. And he'll just kneel it here. Oh, man, you guys. It's second down and 12 to go. Ball the 22. We had him. I had an opportunity. Let's see if they put the ball in his hand. To have a chance at this game and then on fourth down inexplicably they just what a perfect way to end the game there. All right. Man. Yeah. That's rough. And that's the end of the game. Coach, what's your final thought on the game? <clears throat> Man. I was pretty darn impressed. That's all. That's all I got. That's all I got today. Uh, have a good day, guys. Nice, nice win um, for this football team. And we thank you kindly for taking part. Got stuff to work on, and I'm going to work on being less tilted. So uh, until next time. Alabama 35, Oregon State 21.